What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video we have a preview of the up and coming Dawning 2023 event. This is the return of Eva Levante, our space grandma. And with that we have a new event card, new cosmetics, a new memento and even a brand new weapon. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further today guys, let's jump into the video. Now, Season of the Wish will see the return of the Dawning, Bungie's final money-making event for 2023. This is a limited time event to celebrate the winter season and the spirit of giving. Eva Levante returns to the tower and will have to use her holiday oven to bake treats and holiday gifts that can be handed to vendors throughout the game. Now, the Dawning event itself is free to all players and will start on December 12th and conclude on January 2nd. Now, in order to bake treats, you'll need to go out into the world to gather ingredients as well as essence of dawning. You can earn this by defeating combatants and completing certain activities. And once you have enough ingredients, you can combine these in Eva Levante's holiday oven to bake up some tasty treats, things like gala doodles and even dark chocolate moats. For 2023, though, there doesn't appear to be any new treats on the menu. So once you pick up the holiday oven from Eva, you'll be able to view the oven's detail screen and select the ingredients you wish to combine and the treats you wish to bake. Now for this year's event there are three legendary quests. We have the Dawning, the Cookie Delivery Helper and also Winter Night. Now the Dawning is the introductory quest to the event and upon completion you'll gain access to the Holiday Treats Emblem. As for the Cookie Delivery Helper, this will introduce players to some of the recipes required to bake treats in your holiday oven. In addition to the Dawning, this is a great quest to do if you're brand new to the Dawning event. And the quest that you should most definitely keep your eye on is Winter Night. This is a very short quest, but is a guaranteed source for the brand new Dawning Memento. This is only available in the Dawning, and much like other mementos, you can only hold one in your inventory at any one time. Now here's a good look at the up and coming memento on the BXR Battler Pulse Rifle. You can actually preview this via your collections, so if you want to check out what this memento looks like on some of your weapons, be sure to head over there and preview this particular shader on any weapon that you wish. Now as for earning additional copies of this memento, it's likely these are earned by handing treats to vendors across the system. So if you want to get your hands on plenty of them, you'll need to bake plenty of treats, which is ideal if you intend on completing the new event card. Yes, there is a brand new event card, which is optional that you can purchase for this year's event. And this has 16 individual triumphs linked to it. When completing each of these triumphs, you will earn event tickets, which you can then use to purchase additional cosmetics. Those are entirely optional though, so there's no requirement to spend any real world money if you want to partake in the event. Now the Dawning wouldn't be complete with brand new armor ornaments, and we see brand new sets for each and every class. The Warlock has the opulent Strix armor set, which is available from Tess upon the launch of the event. As for the Titan, this has the Snow Plume armor set, and as for the Hunter, this has the Polar Predators armor set. These are all armor ornaments, and these will be available for either 1,000 silver or 6,000 bright dust a set. Now, as well as new armor ornaments, we also have updated perks and even a brand new weapon for this year's event. In total, there are six dawning weapons available this year. And the first weapon we'll take a look at is the Cold Front. This is the Kinetic Primary SMG. This is an aggressive frame, so it deals high damage and has high recoil. As for the main legendary traits, this can roll with perpetual motion, unrelenting, subsistence, stats for all, tap the trigger, enlightened action, and rewind rounds. And in the final column, you have rampage, one for all, frenzy, rangefinder, cascade point, attrition orbs, which is where dealing sustained damage creates an orb of power, and deconstruct where dealing sustained damage grants bonus damage against vehicles and constructs and partially refills the magazine. Next, we have the return of the Glacier Clasm, the Void Fusion Rifle. This is high impact frame, so it's slow firing but deals high damage. This can roll with Slide Shot, Subsistence, Repulsor Brace, Under Pressure, Killing Wind, Heating Up and Overflow. And that's alongside Reservoir Burst, Golden Tricorn, High Impact Reserves, Eye of the Storm, Agile Focus, Control Burst, and Successful Warm Up. This year also sees the return of the Avalanche Machine Gun. This deals solar damage and is adaptive frame. 
Now this can roll with auto loading holster, subsistence, dynamic sway reduction, surplus, stats for all, rewind rounds, and under over. And that's alongside adrenaline junkie, incandescent, vorpal weapon, cascade point, target lock, and one for all. Next we have the Zypher. This is a stasis sword. This is also adaptive frame. And this can roll with unrelenting, relentless strikes, duelist's trance, wellspring, tireless blade, turnabout, and adaptive munitions. And in the final column, it can roll with vorpal weapon, surrounded, whirlwind blade, chain reaction, cold steel, where powered sword hits slow targets, attrition orbs, and collective action. That's followed by the Stay Frosty Pulse Rifle. This is a stasis pulse rifle, which is a lightweight frame. And this can roll with Encore, Tunnel Vision, Moving Target, Killing Wind, Offhand Strike, Enlightened Action, and Heating Up. And as for the final column, we have Desperado, Headstone, Kill Clip, Headseeker, Under Over, Attrition Orbs, and Collective Action. And the final weapon for this year's event is the Albedo Wing. This is a legendary Arc Glaive. Now this one is an aggressive frame and it can roll with Grave Robber, Beacon Rounds, where final blows with the weapon grant your projectiles tracking and dealing further damage extends the duration, replenishing Aegis, a movable object, keep away, clown cartridge, and fill prep. And as for the final column, it can roll with Golden Tricorn, Demolitionist, Lead from Gold, Deconstruct, Attrition Orbs, High Impact Reserves, and Close to Melee. Now, all these weapons also have the Dawning Origin trait called Dawning Surprise. This is where rapidly defeating targets awards a Dawning Gift, and defeating powerful targets counters more than one. Now, these Dawning Gifts remain on the ground for 10 seconds, and these will grant 10% towards all your class abilities, and also starts health regeneration and restores 20 health points. And much like the Memento, these will mostly be earned by handing treats to vendors throughout the system. But for this year's event, festive engrams will be introduced, allowing you to focus farm a particular weapon directly from Eva Levante over in the tower. This completely removes the RNG if you're chasing a certain weapon and a particular god roll, which is ideal for an event that lasts just three weeks. Now to round us out, we're going to take a look at some of the new cosmetics. Three items are available as upgrade rewards for your event card, and these are instantly claimable and include an exotic emote, a new exotic sparrow, and a legendary shader. Outside those, you'll see two new exotic ships, two new exotic sparrows, and two new exotic ghosts over at Tess in Eververse. Is the dawning an event that you're going to partake in this year? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. So there we have it guys a good look at the dawning 2023 if you've enjoyed this video be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more destiny 2 content and if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with destiny 2 then be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to put to the game as always guys and i will catch you all again very soon